Hello, beautiful people of the land and the world. This is Sade coming to you live from Covington, Georgia, helping you to reclaim your freedom. Today's video, I wanted to talk about how I manifested a car. A car. Okay. So, I am originally from New York. And, you know, in New York, they don't have, I mean, for the most part, it's an inconvenience to have a car. So, we rely heavily on public transportation. So when I moved down here, I didn't have a car, um, you know, and the family that I stayed with at the time, you know, they, it was only one car and stuff. And I ended up moving away from there and moving into where I am now. So the lucky thing about moving over here without a car is that I, it, was a, it was a big convenience because there's a shopping center I could just walk to that has like Big Lots and it has um, Kroger, like, you know, Walmart, different places. Well, Walmart I can't really walk to, but I can walk to, um, you know, Kroger. So anyway, there's a lot of stores over here. So I spent a lot of time here just walking and walking and walking with my kids. And I was, you know, I was grateful. I didn't care what, you know, what what the weather was or it was it'll be hot it'll be you know cold it'll be whatever but I just be happy walking with my kids so the thing about law of attraction is you really have to put energy and emotion into your manifestation the thing that you want Number one, you have to know what it is what you what it is that you want. And it's good to focus on one thing at a time is what I've learned. Because I feel like when you focus on multiple things at one time, you know, at the same time, the energy isn't as strong because it's like it's kind of spread thin over a few things, if you get what I'm saying. But that's just been my experience. Um, so you have to know what you want. And for me, it was a car. Because I felt tired of just being in the same place and walking to the same places. I could go butt so far. And then when it was getting hot, it was like brutal, you know. And, you know, and at the same time, I didn't want to be in the house because you get cabin fever. So it, it was tough, but, you know, I, I enjoyed it. But there was a point where I was just like, I just want a freaking car. So... I saw the difference between me feeling desperate and me putting power into the manifestation. Because when you're desperate, when you're worried, it's like you really don't have faith that things are going to work out in your favor. But when you have power, let's say, you know, you're emotionally Dish, like upset like I'm sick and tired of not having a car like for example I'm just sick and tired uh, and you just like kind of have this do or die attitude toward trying to manifest whatever it is that you want you end up putting a lot of power into it and then you end up receiving it which is crazy so I spent a lot of months kind of just desperate for a car and I would do things like okay I visualized a lot, a lot. I did different techniques and I visualized a lot. Um, I visualized every single day at one point because I was sick and tired of not having a car, okay? So what I would do is I would be, I have a reclining chair sitting right there. I would be pretending like I was bumping up the music in my car, enjoying the music. I'm just like adjusting my seat to how it would be. I'm like, you know, messing around with the mirrors. Like you really have to put like all your senses into your manifestation. I'm pretending like I'm driving the kids to school. Like my eyes were closed. I had my son sitting next to me. My daughter's in the rear seat in the car seat. And I already had a car seat bought for her because I knew I was getting a car. So it's like, you got to prepare yourself for that thing that you know that you're going to get. So you must know what it is that you, you just know. You got to know what you're trying to get manifest. You got to know that you're going to get it. That's what I'm trying to say. You got to know that that's what it is that you're trying to get. 
okay? So every single day, whether it was me sitting in a chair pretending like the, the music is bumping and, you know, um, I'm staring outside my window and I was like, that's my parking spot. I'm going to be parked. My car is going to be parked right there every single day. Okay. And, um, I would do things like that. Um, as I'm walking in the stroller, walking, you know, to the store with the stroller and my son, I pretend like he's sitting in the, the seat next to me. She's in the back seat and we're just like, I mean, I did this every single day. And it had to come to a point where I just got sick and tired of not manifesting it. So I just began to like visualize every single day, every single day. And at the point, I think it took me about mm, a couple of months because I didn't have any money to put, you know, down on a car. And these are some of the things that I would say. I would say, you know, I, I don't have any money my credit is crap, unfortunately, but I'm working on it. Um, but I was like, I want a car with no money down. No money down. And on top of that, I want to have, you know, a good interest rate, you know. And I want, if I do end up having a car note, it to be a very low car note. So I'm asking for things that in this real world, people will laugh in your face like, yeah, okay. What's your credit score? You want no money down? Are you crazy? And you want a good um, interest rate? Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> life is just so funny. Life is so funny because I just kept on saying it. And I kept on saying I want a car with low mileage, pretty low mileage that, you know, I could take my kids and we can go driving, taking trips and things like that. And it'll be my ride or die car for some years until I can afford to get a new car. So this is all in my mind. I didn't really have an idea of the type of car that I wanted, but by the time I manifested it, it was a, the exact car that I pretty much like. Um, so what I did also was I put myself in the, the, uh, you know, the realm of things. I was going to different car dealerships where I wasn't doing that before. I was asking about cars, seeing if maybe, you know, something could be worked out. And I got, of course, rejected because my credit was bad and I was looking to have, you know, low, no money down and all this other stuff. And, and it's funny, you just really have to believe that that's what you can get because I believe like a child, even though it seemed crazy to everybody else. I'm like, I'm going to have a car, no money down. So this is what happened. And at the time, I was working at, at Big Lots. So this is, this is the crazy thing. This is how it all came together. One night, I was tired. I was tired, sick and tired of walking. Super sick and tired. I was sick and tired of my job. I was like, I need better for myself. I want a new job. So I went online and I applied to like 10 jobs, okay? One of them just so happened to be a car dealership. So I went to the car dealership, um, interviewed. That was the only job that called me back for a receptionist position. They called me back and it was awesome. Like, I didn't even really have to talk much. Like, they immediately liked me. It was so weird. And I ended up... Getting like somebody ended up being picked over me because I didn't have my transportation straight. But that person ended up like leaving after a month and I and they ended up calling me back for the position, which is crazy. So I start working at the job and they see that I'm, you know, walking a lot. Like I'd be walking to work. If I'm not walking, I'm taking a lift. If I'm not taking a lift, I'm doing hair to take a lift to take my kids to school every freaking day, which is expensive. So they would see me walking a lot. <clears throat> and then they were like, um, you, we need to get you into a car, you know. And it was, all, it was awesome because, you know, I just had a, a wonderful group of people. The vibes were right. I felt like they just wanted me, you know, they enjoyed my vibe. And it was just awesome. So one day, um, you know, I, I went to the sales manager and asked if he could possibly put me in a car. He asked about my credit. I had to fix a couple of things or whatever. And things were kind of moving a little bit slow. So I had a couple of coworkers tell me, like, 
why don't you go and ask the big boss, the owner? So I was like nervous because I had never really spoken to him. I just started working there and they're telling me, I'm like, usually that's something they do for employees that's been there for a while. How do they know I'm going to be here for a long time, even though I will? But how do they know that, you know? So it seemed far-fetched. So what happened was I ended up, somebody else told me to speak to the, um, the boss again. So that's me listening to that inner voice. Like it was nudging me. I was scared, but I was like, okay, let me do it. I'm a single mom. I need a car. Da, 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 da. What's the worst that he, he what's the worst that he could say? No. So I went into his office. We uh had a conversation and I guess he felt me. Like he was like he called the sales manager to come inside, you know. <laughs> he called the sales manager to come in. And the sales manager came in the um, office, and I guess he looked like, am I in trouble or whatever? So he said, do you believe that she, can, can you believe that she walks to work just about every day? And he was like, yeah, I'm trying, I'm working on her getting the car right now. And he said, so what are your options? And he told him my options. He told him my problem, you know, the credit and all of that stuff. And he was like, yeah, let's see if we could get her in the car. And I said, but I don't have a down payment for a car. And they were like, oh, it's fine. No money down. That, I was like, mm, what? No money down? Jeez. So he said, yeah, let's, let's in-house finance her, get her a good interest rate, and let's get her in, in a car, one of the cars on our lot. And I was like, holy crap. And he was like, yes, sir, I'm on it. And I was like, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So after that, probably a week went by, a week went by and there was this car that was sitting in front of the dealership and one of my coworkers came up to me and was like, so you see that car right there? And I was like, yeah. He was like, you like it? I said, what is it? Is it a Nissan Maxima? He was like, yeah. Now, mind you, my favorite cars are Nissan Maximas, but I didn't. I wasn't specific about the type of car that I wanted. I just was like, I want a car, no money down. I want the mileage, mileages to be low. I want my car payment to be pretty low. I want this and that and that, you know. Like, just, I was specific about how I wanted the car to operate. I was specific about the payments. I was specific about other details, but not the car itself. But it ended up being a, a car that I freaking loved. So he was like, so you like that car right there? And I was like, yeah. He was like, okay. He was like, how much do you like it? I was like, it's really nice. And he was like, okay. He said, um, don't quote me on it, but that's the car that they working on for you. And I was like, what? Are you serious? And he said, yep, but you didn't hear that from me. And he just stood there. I was like, okay. So... <laughs> the sales manager comes up to me like I'm stocking in that particular car because you have to stock in cars as a receptionist so he came up to me and he said um you see that car that was right there in the front and I was like yeah he was like how do you like that car I was like it's really nice he said do you want it to be yours I was like, yeah, tell me the specifics. I'm not greedy. You know, I'm not like stupid. I'm not going to reject it. As long as it works good, yes, I want the car. Yes, yes, yes. So he showed me the paperwork. He showed me, you know, um, you know, the type of car, the year. He told me, like, this is how he could work it out for the amount of payments and all of that. And the payments are freaking low. And the interest rate is freaking low. <laughs> low. Ooh, I'm not paying 20 something dollars. I mean, not 20 something. I'm not paying 20 something percent. I'll tell you that much. It's pretty low. So, and I didn't have to put any money down. So I was like, oh my God, yes, 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 yes. So he was like, okay, then it's yours. Cause I, he said that car is really good. The mileage for it to be the year that it was, the mileage was really low. And he said they checked it out in the, you know, in the, um, what is it, uh, the mechanic shop that's attached to the car dealership. They checked it out, and it was a perfect 
Like, it was, like, well-run, whoever the previous owner was. He took re- really good care of it and everything. And I was like, holy freaking crap. I did it. 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 And when I tell you, the like, the, the deal went smooth, everything. And I was on a freaking cloud. I was on a cloud. I was like, God, universe, you're amazing. God, universe, you're amazing. The things that I wrote down is what I got. And it ended up being, I guess God knew what kind of car I liked. It, it gave me a, 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 a Nissan Maxima. And I'm like, amazed, 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 amazed. So just to recap, and mind you, I was like, I was smiling. And then somebody in my job was like, why is she smiling so much? Did you get some? And I'm like. No, it's because of of the car. That's why I'm smiling. And I just was like on a cloud because I just felt like I got my freedom. I got exactly what it was that I wanted and I've been yearning for this whole time. And let me tell you another technique that I use. I use the 55 by 5 technique. I use visualizing, visualization techniques and 55 by 5. Um, technique and I wrote I'm so happy and thankful I have a car for um, because this is around Christmas time last year and my sister and my mom was coming down for Christmas and you know from New York and I wanted them to you know be um, you know I wanted to show them around I wanted to drive them around and stuff so I was like I'm so happy and thankful I said I am not I want I am so happy and thankful that I have a car before Christmas. I am so happy and thankful that I have a car before Christmas. I am so happy and thankful I have a car before Christmas. And I was just truly feeling those feelings like as if I had the car. So those two techniques, the visualization and the 55 by 5 technique worked for me. I would work. I would be at work, and I'd be writing it out. I literally have. I wish I could go and get the paper right now, and I'll show you that I wrote it and it manifested. I got the car. I think December sixteenth, December sixteenth, before my my mom and my sister came down for Christmas. So, just to recap, in general. If you want something, the law of attraction will give it to you as long as you believe it. As long as you believe what it is that you can, you know, that you desire, you will receive it. Okay? And sometimes certain things got to be maneuvered. And it's funny, I got a car through getting a job. That's the crazy part about it. I got a car through getting a job. And no money down. And I don't have to worry about my car payments because it's coming out of my paycheck every week. It's amazing. So acting as if I had it, visualizing, writing it down. There's so much power in writing. And it's that focus, that 55 by 5. You write it down 55 times every single day for five days straight. And as you're focused, you're just writing it, writing it, writing it. And you're like also thinking about it you're having the emotions as you're writing so you're putting more power into it so i'm gonna go back go into you know more law of attraction techniques and things like that but i just wanted to share with you guys that this is how i manifested my car and it works beautifully i've had no issues with it i am like oh so in love with it so in love so i'm going to end this video and if you like this video please subscribe if you liked it give it a thumbs up and i will see you next time hope you have a great day bye